Horizons management team believes we have to explore and secure growth options even as we continue to transform the business. We've demonstrated we can do that by successfully delivering a number of key growth projects over the past five years. Since listing in 2010, we've completed projects to expand the central Queensland coal network by an additional 76 million tonnes per annum. The first of these projects, the 1.1 billion Gunyella to Abbott Point expansion, was commissioned ahead of program despite extraordinary wet weather in 2011. There was also an overall cost saving of $50 million and a safety performance lost time injury frequency rate of 0.58 for a total project of 1.7 million hours worked. We followed that up with the $831 million Wiggins Island Rail project. The project is on time and within budget. In New South Wales, our new Hexham rolling stock facility will provide a step forward in maintenance and provisioning for our fleet, driving operational efficiency improvements in the Hunter Valley coal system and intermodal operations. In partnership with the Australian Federal Government, together with CUBE, we are developing the Moorbank Intermodal Terminal, set to be the largest integrated warehouse rail terminal precinct in Australia when fully developed. Moorbank is a solution to resolve critical bottleneck problems at Port Botany, one of Australia's largest container ports. This large project has involved us working closely with customers, government and port owners to design and deliver a state-of-the-art supply chain solution. Looking to the medium-term future, Horizon is working with joint venture partners Bowsteel Resources, American Metals and Coal International and POSCO to create a world-class multi-user supply chain for a greenfield iron ore development in the West Pilbara in Western Australia. In Queensland, we're working alongside GVK Hancock on a transport solution for the Galilee Basin, including an interest in the rail and port infrastructure under development into the Abbott Point Coal Terminal. It's true that our industry is asset intensive and that those assets take a long time to develop. And then they have operating cycles measured in decades. If we're going to be there to deliver for our customers and keep delivering for our investors, then we have to identify and secure our future growth right now.